Privet Stalkers. This is my first time doing an unrecorded, uh, like not live, unplanned video. So apologize if it's, if it's bad. In short, I could not record Stalker 2 gameplay. I thought I could, but I went there and I could not. So this is a improvised, no, you know, no gameplay footage. I cannot really commentate well over what I have done, but I can walk you through what I have done. I cannot show you, but I, I can walk you through it. Basically, you do start out in a uh, what appears to be a uh, tu tutorial, but the tutorial is very short. Even if, if that was uh, the tutorial for the main game, that was uh, arguably a uh, thirty-second cutscene of you getting attacked by a dog, and the character, and you're getting yelled at by another character who tells you to uh, you know uh, get a dog off you and um, grab a bolt. So you get your first bolt. Now, if that's the tutorial for in the main game, you only get a bolt. And you're supposed to throw a bolt at the anomalies. Of course, you throw a bolt at the anomalies. The anomalies trigger. And they teach you to trigger the anomalies and walk through them. The base game ne never teach you to actually ter trigger the anomalies and walk through them. That is cool that the Stark 2 teaches you at right at the start. So people are going to know that they are not hard blocked by anomalies, which the original games don't teach you. There. Uh, either way, uh, the... You know, you kick the dog off you in the opening sequence, the dog flies into a normally, the dog explodes. Happy ending, he's alive, and you get out of the normal field. I personally skipped the dialogue with the guy that was helping me out. I just ran past him, and I ran straight into what appears to be a... Um... Well, it was a yard like this. So these are official screenshots, of course. It was more like a yard, and that was a military soldier on the ground, uh, dead. Apparently, uh, I couldn't loot him. He had some bread on him. I ate the bread. The bread did nothing at the time. Uh, I couldn't tell. There was a bread eating sound effect. And you know, based on um, so far, the based on the voice acting, what the the character said at the opening, uh, the voice acting seems better than the original. Also, I noticed, you know, you get the bolt. So obviously, what you do, you check out the bolt. Uh, but then you notice you have actual whole wheel of weapons. So I already start with a macroff. A son of shotgun, double barrel shotgun. Of course, a macro, you can see here, we already know that. And the son of double barrel shotgun, we already knew that from other screenshots too. And the AKU, which I think we already saw also. So, a three gun loadout. That was cool. And also, I will not be going to spoilers really. I uh, skipped through the dialogue of all the characters. They don't really say much interesting. They tell you basic stuff that is going on around the zone. The usual. So we went out the yard, and then we ran into some dogs. So you had a double red shotgun. Obviously, I only had, you only started with 12 shots in the demo. There were 12 shots. By the way, the buckshot was blue. Um, cool. I don't think you had slugs. The slugs might have been red. We started with blue buckshot. So you load in the blue buckshot. Uh, you're getting ready for the dogs. Dogs are attacking loners. The loners run away. Uh, they run into a building. Dogs go after them. I dispatch the dogs was fun, they, most of the dogs died in one hit. You know, you aim, uh, you aim dead center of the dog, buckshot comes out, feels satisfying, the uh, double barreled animations are good. It was a son off, so it wasn't a full size barrel. Now, I'm sure I clicked mouse, uh, middle mouse, and it would bring up a weapon modular uh, menu for half a second. And on the double barreled shotgun, I saw four options on the modular system on the weapon. Again, that, that's something you only really notice barely, because if you mash the button, you would it would try to bring it up, but it wasn't showing up fully. Because it, it's not a feature in a demo. But the hold key worked, and it brought the menu up slightly. It was faded. So maybe the double barrel shotgun is going to allow you like, to, to put on a choke or, or uh, you know, full barrel. Obviously, uh, maybe saw it off on the fly. Maybe not on the fly. Song of your barrel on the fly is weird. That's like doomed here. But Anyways, uh, so I was fighting dogs. Dogs were all dead. The stalkers tag me. The stalkers give you a mission. To kill some, um, to go and kill some bandits. Now, I skipped through the dialogue again, no spoilers. Uh, while finding the dogs, I got hurt. So, the animations for there are animations for medkit, vodka, bandages, and of course, the energy drink. So, those are the four main consumables in the, in the demo. They, they were full, full on animated. I would say, you know, better than your average animation for average stalker molds. It was honestly amazing. 
Same with the guns. Same with the, the double barrel shotgun, of course. And yeah, the, the village looked like... We were at a village that looked like this. Uh, the dogs were outside. Rather, the village looked like this, exactly. The, it was a building that looked like this building. We don't have a Kapowers yet. The Kapowers in the screenshot. Again, we don't have that yet. Um, stalkers looked like this. It were, they were loners. There were no Akalas present. It, was, it wasn't It was exactly this village. There was no windmill, as far as I could tell. But it was one of the, those buildings. They, these are very common in the zone. These are generic, generic in quote, buildings. That we've seen in Stalker, Chernobyl, Clear Sky, Copyright. These are just the houses. The Stalkers went inside, talked to them. Honestly, I skipped most of that stuff. And uh, yeah, uh, they don't really guide you. There was no railroading. You could just do whatever you wanted. Uh, that was a big, uh, you know, big benefit. So yeah, the dogs were dispatched. Uh, we did not have the, um, we don't actually have the full size, you know, over and under sh double barrel shotgun, which is my favorite shotgun about in these games. Did not have this one. Again, a loading kit was only three shotguns, three weapons overall, and there I say uh, even. The guns were very limited ammo. I only had 60 AK rounds, 14 buckshot, and 32 mackerel rounds. Which was pretty hard to get through those dogs. And afterwards, go through all the bandits. Again, let's get to the bandit parts. Because um, I was basically going really quick. I, in a demo, I was going fast. I was running through the, these areas. I could not really appreciate the environment. I was just going from objective to objective. Really quickly, because the demo, was again, was not very long. So I... I thought it was, you know, on timer, but, uh, you know. Again, we also did not have an MK14 EBR. There seems to be uh, some kind of M1 um, EBR. 762 ammo. Uh, probably an 8 ball round. I didn't have, th did not have this either. Uh, Would have been cool to fight the bandits with. Again, we did not, re we did not come across any boars or flashes. It was just dogs, and then afterwards, I ran to bandits. Also, not to mention, um, during the dogs, during the fights with the dogs earlier, uh, the, st the stalker accidentally friendly fired me. That happens. So, friendly fire is in. Um, good. You know, removing that would, would have been uh, incredibly generic, either way. Um, not to mention, not to mention also, the, uh, the demo... In the demo, the anomalies themselves were all very visible and distinct. And running to anomaly yourself would trigger... You know, if you were on the outskirts of it, it would trigger a uh, weird visual effect. Like, um... Might have been a placeholder, might have been some... Like... It was a mild health damage, but it would trigger some kind of visual effect where maybe it was psi damage. Your psyche was getting damaged. But I didn't walk into the anomaly because I honestly did not want to die and I did not want to waste my demo time because I only had limited time. Now, if you run into an anomaly, you could have maybe gotten killed in one go. Uh, but I maybe touched an outskirts a little bit here and there in the trader. Also, UI looks smooth. Uh, the blips on the uh, icon icons on this. You know, I could see the dogs on the radar. Uh, they helped me identify them. You could turn this off in the menu, I'm sure, if you don't want to play with them. That. The health looks smooth, the stamina bar looks smooth, uh, the radiation, I did not notice many rats popping up. We weren't getting hungry in the trader, there was no care weight, I think, I mean, I... I the ammo counter was neat. Uh, the, the full auto, semi-auto fire indicator was also nice. The ammo count indicator, all good. So, we, again, we got a mission to kill the bandits. So, again, I ran past the dogs, I ran on the roads, the environments look good. The, the roads look like this, uh, environments look good. Now I get to the bandit parts. But right before I go to the bandits, I of course had to pull on my PDA. I had to open my PDA, look at the PDA, and apparently the PDA was uh, animated. The pulling up of the PDA is 3D animated. However, the menu was still uh, 2D, like kind of, probably not finished, clunky. Yeah, it's a, it's a, it's a demo build. Um, So I pulled up the objective. Selecting objectives is simple. They show up in your compass. That's handy. Uh, you can, again, you can play with or without the compass. You can sh see the objectives on the PDA. There, there was a map. Again, I tried opening the map, but the map didn't open. They obviously disabled that, so you wouldn't get you know massive spoilers or people wouldn't take a quick screenshot of the entire map of the entire game. Understandable. Could not open the map. Again, but to the bandits. 
It was satisfying enough. I enjoyed the bandit fighting. I uh, popped some corners. I was jumping around. I was moving very quickly. Again, I'm experienced. We are experienced stalker player. Arguably, the AI cannot keep up with an experienced stalker player. So we were jumping from corner to corner, popping corners, flawed, like semi auto firing, head one shot tapping uh, bandits in the head. That was still satisfying as always. An AK round to the head kills a bandit. So I ran out of about 60 rounds. I actually, you know, I there were a lot of bandits. There were eight, if not more. So I ran out of my 60 rounds. I started, you know, my sensitivity. Okay, to be fair, my sensitivity on my key, uh, mouse and keyboard was, um, it was really high. So I was missing a lot of shots. However, I was killing them, you know, relatively fast. By the end of it, after eight bandits, I was through my 60 rounds. Um, it was good. Halfway through the fight, it started raining. And man, that was visually the most impressive thing I've seen up in a demo. When it started raining, I noticed the downpour started and it started being a little bit foggy and the, the visuals, they, they all clicked and they all came together and the game ran smooth too. The game ran butter smooth. I'm very impressed. During the, the rain, the fog, the gunfight, the visuals of the AK, the AK barrel overheating, you know, again, the AK barrel visual, the weapon jam animation, like the AK jam during the gunfight, the character goes like, oh, what is this? And he pulls out the mag and he like jams the mag in the bullet and like yoinks the bullet out, puts the mag back in. There's like a little ball pull and it's, it's so smooth and fast and I'm sure it's motion captured. It looked amazing. It looked better than, uh, you know, other games, other molds. Now, you know, the weapon selection is limited in Stalker, but I'm sure they can make the guns feel great. The limited guns that are in the game. That's good. And again, the rain, the visuals, the barrel overheating, <clears throat> and maybe not, or maybe I couldn't confirm because it was too short. The rain actually, uh, you know, affected the barrel and, uh, you know, it started smoking a bit. It started, maybe it smokes by default. Maybe it smokes more during the rain. Who knows? Yeah, it looked great. And then, uh, you know, by the time I killed my last bandit, I saw some blood holes on the ground. Uh, the bandits were dead. I didn't get time to loot them. I uh, noticed I was bleeding during the demo. My character bled after being shot at. The bleeding was pretty potent. I think on the screenshot, you can also see the visual of the bleeding effect. Like the bleeding effect would show a white bar on how much you're gonna bleed out. So that was very, very cool. You could see how much you were bleeding out for, basically. So you can decide, hey, am I gonna take a lot of damage? Am I gonna die here? Should I bandage up or not? A good improvement in my opinion. The bleed was also a little bit more rapid and then it stopped. You know, it stopped bleeding pretty early. So it's, it's like a risk reward mechanic here where you decide to keep shooting or do a bandage up. Now medkit obviously just worked like a medkit, slowly healed you up. You know, pretty chunky animations. Enjoyable. I fought the bandits, killed the bandits. It was enjoyable. Honestly, overall great demo. My last screenshot? No. We got one more. I did not get to uh, an underground area. They only showcase the above ground area, but it was cool and all. Overall, I am pretty satisfied. However, again, the demo was pretty short for me as a uh, stalker veteran, uh, someone who's played thousands of hours. Kind of blasted through it. Overall, the <laughs> overall, I, I did have a few developers over my shoulders looking or uh, Xbox employees. It was uh, it was an experience. My game did also crash. Again, now we're going again off the script. We're going a little bit off the script. So if you, thank you for watching guys. If you like the content, go to my YouTube video. Give me a sub, uh, you know, uh, subscribe to the channel. Or go to my Twitch. I stream live almost every day, six days a week. Um, so this is the part where you can tune out, you know. Um, off the script, it was a long day. And um, yeah. Uh, I was not allowed to record footage, but I did record some uh, audio. I, I recorded myself talking out loud, you know, it was basically just me talking out loud. So I could then listen back. What I did earlier was listen back to my, what I said in a, during that audio. So I could more easily make this video. I hope it helped. I am tired. And if you have any questions, ask them tomorrow during the stream. I have not said everything in this video. I actually, if you joke my memory, and I will recall moments during the demo that I completely forgot. Like, subtle things that I noticed that I didn't mention in this video. But this is the, bi the, the big thought, guys. Uh, anyways, thank you for watching, guys. And I'll see you all tomorrow. I'll see you during the stream. Peace out. Good hunting, stalkers.